No one is getting younger. That's As the hard we choice. age, so do our <laughs> eyes. There you go. For Eye Health Month, uh, health specialist Leo Sarich joining us now, chatting about the first signs of aging, our aging eyes, and what we can do to protect our yes. keepers. You know, we only have yeah. two of them, right? Yeah, so right. you got to look after these guys. So have you noticed that you're doing this a bit more? Uh, yeah? I don't right? want to admit it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to admit it either. Uh, but you it's know what happening. I do? I do the finger thing where you zoom in. Oh, yeah, just, bring, yeah, exactly. just make it a little bigger. Yeah, exactly. exactly, right? So that, in fact, is one of the first signs <laughs> of aging. I spoke with optometrist Ferris Energy about this, and she says, yes, that is, in fact, that our eyes are aging. The first sign of aging usually occurs around your early 40s to mid 40s when you start noticing things up close get blurry, so you're moving things further out to see them. Um, this is called presbyopia, and it's basically a condition in which um, the eye loses its ability to focus up close and see objects or small print, especially medicine bottles. This is a normal change that occurs with time, so it's really important to come in and see your optometrist and we can determine the best form of treatment and that usually ends up being glasses. Yeah, boo. we know the glasses. I know, <laughs> boo. I know. Boo. Other signs of aging <laughs> eyes include floaters. So this is where you get little black oh, spots yeah, that float yeah, through yeah. your vision or cobweb kind of things. Okay, yeah, I'll so check, that's, check for exactly, those Exactly. That's a very common sign yeah. of aging. And it's not a big deal. It's very, very common. Unless those floaters are accompanied by flashing lights, oh. then we've got a medical emergency and you need to see your optometrist right away. It oh, could be okay. a torn or detached retina. So keep that in mind. Um, another sign, tearing or watery eyes. So just if your eyes are watering a lot, you're getting that tear in the, in the corner of your eye a lot. Very common in women during menopause. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Could be dry eyes, infection, blocked tear duct. Another reason, again, to see the optometrist. Mm -hmm. Another one is the drooping eyelids. So, you know, we see this, and women are getting that fixed all the time. So it's not just a cosmetic issue. Okay. In fact, it can affect your vision. Uh, what does it do? Does it, like, actually literally it actually, block it? It does. Oh, okay, sure. It does. So it's worth getting an optometrist to assess that. You could be a candidate for surgery. So, something to keep in mind. Now, these are just basic eye problems as we age, but as we age, we're also susceptible to more serious eye diseases like macular degeneration. With age, we can see age-related macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of blindness in Canadians over the age of 50. Risk factors for this include being female, Caucasian, light, light skin, light eyes, um, having a history of smoking, poor diet, Family history is huge when it comes to mac macular degeneration. So that's definitely one to keep your eye on no for sure. Kidding. Absolutely. Other eye diseases related to aging include there are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. Cataracts, again, very common. It causes vision loss, but it can easily be treated with surgery. So sure. that's an easy one. Glaucoma, an increase in the pressure of the eye. Again, this is something that an optometrist can check very easily. But if it's not detected early, which it often is not, it can be very problematic. It's a huge cause of vision loss. The key here is that most of these diseases do not have any symptoms okay. until they're very advanced. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, uh, prevention. How can I stop That's this right. stuff from happening? Because, I mean, we can't reverse how old we are. Correct. So, yeah. That's right. So there's a few things you can do. The first thing you want to do is do visit your optometrist annually. Every, every year. year. Just like you're getting your annual physical exam, you want to get your annual eye exam. The other one I really like is the 20-20-20 rule. So this is a good one, particularly for all of us who are using our devices mm -hmm. all the time. She says, every 20 minutes, take your eyes off your device and look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Oh, really? Yes. So it just you're on your, your phone yep. every 20 minutes, so yep. three times an hour. That's right. Just take a second and focus in the 20 distance. seconds. Take oh, 20 oh, sorry, seconds. Yeah, okay, yes, yeah. 20 seconds to do that. And that just gives your eyes a break. So it's, it's reducing that eye strain that we see a lot of. And then again, in Alberta, remember that if you have an emergency with your eyes, you do not need to go to the emergency room. You can, in fact, see an optometrist, and it will be covered by Alberta Health. Huh, there you go. Good advice. It'll yeah, be all this info all on your blog, blog, right? 